Creator, welcome back to my channel. You are here because you saw the title of this video. Y'all know how I like to do. We're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. So here I have my client. We have taken out his plaques from earlier and we're about to prep him to go to the shampoo bowl. All right, first thing first, you want to detangle your client's hair. You do not want to start shampooing from hair that has not been combed out yet. So here we go. And when working with natural hair, I always like to start from the end and then detangle to the root. So keep that in mind. stress this enough I tell you guys this in almost all of my videos when you are working with thicker hair work in sections this will make it so much easier so I'm just about to go ahead and blow dry his hair but first let, let's let's just make it a little more exciting let's, let, let's just get a little more of a Christmas feel so we're just gonna replace this cape right here off off with this one and we're gonna pull out something a little more Christmassy <laughs> There we go, I like it, I love it. So let's just go ahead and get into this blow dry. to start from the nose and just go straight up that's your best bet to get a part down in the middle let me turn to the mirror for me okay yes there we have it i'm just going to follow this part all the way to the back of his head Part back over the line and as you're parting you're going to push the right side to the right and the left side to the left far you're doing right so keep watching so you don't miss any more steps okay because he has so much hair I'm actually going to put this side into two and clip it away so this is how it looks one side is in two sections and then you have this one section here so first thing first before any braiding I like to go ahead and part out the side so this particular service it all depends on how much hair the client has I do a different amount of braids every single time so I'm just gonna part out even sections as even as possible really Start curving them. 
because the head is round, so if you keep going straight down, it's not going to stay consistent. So we're going to give it the curve effect as we get closer to the back. each piece I'm just kind of gonna look at them to make sure they're all as even as possible all right for some odd reason I just like to start on the part in the bag you can start wherever you like so for the lining of the parts, I was using Lock and Twist. A lot of people kept asking what brand. The brand is actually called Lock and Twist Gel. So that is what I use. And I'm using the same thing to outline his part. So you're going to push the product towards the hair. Always think when you're lining the, the parts, you're going to push it towards the middle. That's how I do it. Okay, after I lined it with the lock and twist, I come in with my shine and jam. So if you keep watching my videos, my products are very consistent. I use the same two. I always have these two on my station. So I'm gonna come behind the lock and twist and I'm going to line on top of that with the shine and jam. stitch effect so for me it works best when I pre-part the section before braiding. I actually learned this step from my sister so shout out to her. I will link her information down below. She's a braider as well. So I usually braid with these three here. So that's kind of how I like to start. The first stitch at the top, you're going to separate that into three even sections. One, two, three. And your braid shall begin. So for this part here, you're going to take your time. It's not a rush. You're going to secure this first piece. And once that feels secured, you're going to pick up the next piece. Keep your grip nice and firm as you're going. You can use your fingers or the comb to get any extra strands of hair that try to sneak over into this section. So that's how you keep your part nice and neat. You have to pause and get that extra hair out the way. So as you're going down, you're going to grab another piece. Keep going. Grab another piece. Keep going. And here, you can kind of see the hair that has product and the hair that don't have product. So as you're braiding down and it starts to feel dry or it doesn't have any product, you're going to dip your finger back in your product how I told you all that I do, and I just smooth it over my braid fingers, and then you're going to keep going. Pick up, keep going. Pick up, keep going. And I'm an overhand braider and underhand, so when it starts to feel uncomfortable overhand, 
I switch to underhand. So here I'm going to pause. There's extra pieces of hair trying to sneak into this. And we're just going to pull those out the way. And also, it's getting a little bit dry. We're going to take more product and continue to braid with that. Keep your grip all the way until the end. Do not get tired, do not let go. Keep your grip. Consistency is key. And I think this is the last stitch. We're going to grab that tightly. Y'all see here? So this actually is all about multitasking. You got the hair jumping in. You got to add product. You got to keep your grip. And here we go. We got the scalp part out the way. We're just going to continue the braid all the way down. Add product as needed. For this particular service, I'm going to be securing the ends with the rubber band. Now, there's a lot of people who have concerns about rubber bands, but I have learned by oiling. Oops. I have learned by oiling the rubber band first. You will not get breakage. It'll just slide off when it's time for you to take it off. So just take your oil, any oil. I'm using black castor oil today. And you're just going to roll your rubber band around in that and you're going to secure the end of your hair or your client's hair. And there you have it, the completed look. Now, if you are a super, super perfectionist like me, after you have done the stitches, if there's just some pieces that you're not quite happy with, I like to just go behind it and smooth it over with a little product and then lay it down. It'll make a slight difference. So this extra step here is for the perfectionist like myself. Just gonna smooth that on over. So do not beat yourself up if you didn't get the stitch perfect. It's okay, it's not the end of the world. And then, bam, we're about to repeat this on all of the sections of his hair. done just look at this if you follow step to step well step by step your client should look like this and always at the halfway mark I just stop and I just like to them just so proud of my work I just like to stare at it for a second but yeah so if you made it this far please pause stop 
go a like, comment, subscribe, previous videos, turn your post notifications to keep seeing more of this. So for the second side, this is way, way easier than the first side because you're just going to match, hold down for me. You're just going to match the parting on the opposite side. So we'll go through, get through this side way quicker than the other side. So here we go. Here. So if you follow all of those steps, you look back straight and then hold down. All right, come up. If you follow all of those steps, then your braids should look exactly like this. Thank you all for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and reshare this video to anyone. Let me know down in the comment section below if I helped you learn anything. See you guys next video. Bye.